good morning dear learners and glarmina academy counselor igno rc question 14000 so today we are going to start our online sessions so our course is npc 004 advanced social psychology we have got 16 units so let's start with the first unit nature and concept of social psychology and social psychology related to other disciplines let's start with introduction i hope all of you know how to define psychology psychology it is a scientific study of behavior and cognitive or mental processes so social psychology it is a study of these behavior and mental processes in social situations it is a study of how people think about influence and relate to others actually it emerged at the interface of psychology and sociology so we can say that both these two are the parents of social psychology so it analyzed the nature and the relationship of man to the society so if we say the sphere of social psychology is social and our focus is individual in social situation so it is basically the study of individual in social situation and the situation can be person to person person to group group to group and group to person and the interaction can be of three types person to person person to group and group to group then let's come to the definitions of social psychology these are the three major definitions so first definition was given by gordon alport in 1954 so the definition is the social psychology attempt to understand and explain how the thought feelings and behavior of individuals are influenced by the actual imagined or implied presence of others so the second definition is given by baron and byron it says a sci- social psychology is a scientific field that seeks to understand and understand the nature and course of individual behavior and thought in social situation a similar one i have mentioned before the next definition is given by mayers and spencer in 2006 so it is a scientific study of how people think about influence and relate to one another so in this these are the major three definitions so in the first definition i have told that it is uh, the actual imagined or implied presence of other human beings can influence our thought feelings and behavior so actual presence means the physical presence of another being imagined present means it can be our uh, laws our culture our traditions that can force us to behave in a particular way okay so this uh, this come under imagined or implied presence next comes the nature and concept of social psychology social psychology is scientific in nature we have got three basic steps or processes same as what we do in a scientific method so we will collect carefully of made observations then we integrate these observations and make statements of general principles and in the last step we utilize these general principles to predict future observations so social psychology it is it is not purely science but it is scientific in nature as we are dealing with human beings and the human minds are complex and we are feel, we have difficulty in predicting our our behavior and also others behaviors in the same way so that prediction that prediction and controlling phenomena is sometimes effective but it is not at all fully effective okay 
then comes the concepts of social psychology in social psychology we study the experience and behavior of individuals and the behavior we can say it is the result of interaction between mental states and the immediate social situation so behavior can be viewed as a function of person and environment and we studies both observable behaviors and the emotions and thoughts which cannot be directly observed by us and we are studying the culture also in social situations then comes the causes of social behavior and thought so there are many factors that can affect social interactions and social behaviors So first one is actions and characteristics of others. Second, basic cognitive processes like our memory, reason, ideas, judgment about others, etc. Then comes the ecological variables. It include environmental factors like our noise, temperature, crowd, etc. That can affect our behavior. Then co- cultural context. it includes the cultural norms and the membership in various groups that can cause us to behave in a certain way then comes the biological aspects of human behavior it includes the genetic inheritance that can cause social behaviors so social psychology it focuses on understanding the causes of social behavior and on identifying factors that shape our feelings behaviors and thoughts in social situations then comes the scope of social psychology social psychology it attempts to understand uh, understand the relationship between minds groups and behaviors in three different ways i've told you about the three different interactions three kinds of interactions like group to group group to individual and individual to group so first way is how we tries to see how the thoughts feelings and behaviors are influenced by the actual imagined or implied presence of other or others that is how a group how an individual affects another individuals next comes individual to group how an individual's perceptions affects the group's decision making or group productivity this is this other second ways then the final how one group affects another group how a group's hostility towards another group influence the other groups to behave that comes the history of social psychology history we can say we have give, uh, divided into many different stages or phases in the first phases we say certain thoughts came before the advent of social psych- social science then it came as a separate discipline then certain theories came into existence then certain books came then social psychology related experimental researches were conducted then certain other theories like middle range theories came these are the major phases okay so first we can go through the thoughts before the advent of social science so the earlier forms of social thought are platonic and aristotelian in the pa- platonic thought it emphasized on the individual centered approach and it says that individual have to be educated to become truly social but in aristotelian thought they says that human beings are basically social in nature 
and it is more social centered ones and hegel he state he says that state is not only the ultimate form of society but the incarnation of the objective social mind of which individual minds are active participants so individualism has appeared in two forms in sociological thoughts first one is hedonism in hedonism the individual pleasure is emphasized and in utilitarianism the pleasure for greater numbers are focused the no modern theories they says these words we can say in the form of reinforcement reward reduction of stress and dissonance then the concept of power was has returned in social psychology the concept of power found its proper frame of reference in the field theory and social exchange theory Kurt Levin was the major proponent he is considered as the father of applied psychology he said how the power influence others power of a person influence others and mentioned about aggression conformity to pressure obedience to authority and power in language research areas were conduct researches where power has been studied are these are among these areas then came the second stage of development psychology social psychology how it emerged as a discipline so the requirement concerning the solution of socio psychological problems were aroused thus to uh, to Mm. Sorry, thus to solve the socio-psychological problems, a separate discipline like social psychology came into existence. So the first forms of socio-psychological theories came. The theories were based on people's psychology, mass psychology, and the theory of instincts of social behavior. people psychology the first major textbooks were published so in the people psychology the spirit of whole were emphasized in mass psychology role of irrational movements in social behavior and role of imitation were emphasized in the theory of instinct the the theory in the theory of instincts they emphasized on instincts as a cause of social behavior there are mainly two instincts life instincts and death instincts life instincts is meant for constructive purposes and death instincts are meant for destructive purposes like how aggression affects our behavior and the first manual was published it is a social and ethical interpretation in mental development the two first books are an introduction to social psychology given by william mcdougall and social psychology by e a rose in the ro in the book by rose it emphasized on uniformities and in mcdougall's book it he emphasized on inborn instincts then came the beginning of experimental research this and the phase So Norman Trip Triplett, he studied about the dynamogenic effects of pacemaking. It was the first study of an individual's performance that can be affected by the presence of others. Then Allport, Floyd Allport, he compared the performance of individuals working alone. with that of the persons working either before an audience or in the presence of others engaged in same activity so he found that the latter condition has op- has often improved pre- performance so it is called as social facilitation effect 
and in the later studies we can say we can see that there are situations in which people can perform lower in the presence of others so it is called as social laughing effect then came the development of attitude measures certain scales to measure certain phenomena can be seen in the further researches like attitude measures social norms aggression leadership and social influence were developed then development of then theodor he he emphasized or he studied about peer influence then musafir sharif he studied about the nature and impact of social norms dollard and miller he studied about the relationship between frustration and aggression how frustration caused aggression then kurt levin lipit and white they studied about the nature of relationship i mean leaderships how the leadership different leadership affects a particular behavior of an individual so there are basically three leadership styles democratic leadership then authoritarian leadership and authoritative leadership styles and authoritative leadership style is found to be effective for better performance of the group then kurt levin he researched on group dynamics then in 1950s by 1950s more theoretical explanations regarding conformity cognitive dissonance and attribution theory came all these terms we'll explain later then came the middle range theories that account for a specific aspect of social behaviors the researches were more focused in this area kurt levin he made a model and the theories and the relationship of social psychology is given in the page in page number 15 of your study material then comes the major theoretical perspectives of social psychology there are mainly five perspectives to explain how our behaviors are influenced so in, according to social cultural perspective the, our behavior is influenced by uh, larger social groups social class nationality and cultural norms according to evolutionary perspectives a uh, social behaviors as in are in are considered as in evolved adaptations that helped our ancestors survive and reproduce then so, according to social learning perspective past learning experiences causes a person to behave in a certain way according to phenomenological perspective it focused on person's subjective interpretations of events in social situations in social cognitive perspectives it focused on how we attend interpret judge and remember a particular social experiences and how these factors affect our current social behavior so historical developments it can be seen in a in a summary table that is given in page number 16 and 17 then comes social psychology and other disciplines in that we have seen we can see three levels of analysis it is similar to what we said in the previous perspectives so societal level analysis individual level analysis and interpersonal level analysis in societal level analysis broad social forces influence social behavior how that is how a violence is influenced by the poverty or immigration like social factors in individual level analysis we can say that a violent behavior can be due to the person's personality characteristics or unique personal history in interpersonal level we can say that the current situation may be due to interpersonal 
relationships and the struggles in that relationships then comes amalgamation of sociology and psychology so there is two types of social psychology first one is physiological i mean psychological social psychology it emphasized upon subjects mental processes dispositions experiences etc then in sociological social psychology it emphasized on subjects or the persons place in social order their socialized roles and historical social context and there can be synthesis of both it so it studies both the mass phenomenon and the position of an individual in that social group then social psychology and other disciplines how other disciplines are related to social psychology discipline so first one is how social psychology and sociology are connected so sociology it is defined as a study of society and social psychology exchanges freely ideas methods and models with sociology in sociology then come sociology and social psychology and anthropology so anthropology is just the study of scientific study of human beings and anthropology gives a clear picture of the culture and social context to a social psychology then social psychology and social linguistics so social uh, linguistic is basically studies how the, uh, how a language connects with the society and socio linguistics it borrows theories from social psychology to draw ref- inferences about behaviors from the linguistic data so here comes the end of our first unit hope the session was useful for you thank you